Hello viewer, welcome to my channel, Learn Physics. Viewers, in this video, we will derive the wave equation in conducting medium. Ko derive viewers, in conducting medium, we have volume charge density 0 and current density is equal to conductivity times the electric field vector. B, the magnetic flux density is equal to mu h, where mu is the permeability of the medium and h is the magnetic field. D is the displacement vector equal to epsilon times E, where E is the electric field and epsilon is the permittivity of the conducting medium as given in equation 1. Now we have Maxwell's equation in free space as given in equation 2. Now, in view of equation 1, we rewrite equation 2. In view of equation 1, Maxwell's equations can be written for conducting medium. We write it as divergence of E is equal to 0, then divergence of H is equal to 0, then we have curl of E, curl of E is equal to minus mu del h over del t and curl of h is equal to sigma e plus epsilon del e over del t collectively call these four equations equation number three Now take curl of equation 3, part 3. Now take curl of equation 3, part 3. And equation 3, part 4. So we write curl of curl of e is equal to minus mu del over del t curl of h and curl of curl of h is equal to sigma curl of E plus epsilon del over del T curl of E. Now we use curl of H from 3 part 4 and curl of E from equation 3 part 3 in the right hand side of above equation. So now we use curl of h from equation 3 part 4 and curl of e from equation 3 part 3 on right hand side of above equations. Curl of curl of E is equal to 
minus mu over del over del t and here we substitute curl of h from equation 3 part 4 so we write sigma e plus epsilon del e over del t and curl of curl of h is equal to sigma and here we substitute curl of e from equation 3 part 3 so we write sigma minus mu del h over del t plus epsilon del over del t and here we substitute again curl of e mu minus mu del h over del t now we use a vector identity use a vector identity what is that identity it is the curl of curl of a vector is equal to gradient of divergence of that vector a minus laplacian operator nebula square vector a so we apply this vector identity on the above equation so we write divergent gradient of divergence of e minus laplacian operator e is equal to minus mu sigma del e over del t minus mu epsilon del square e over del t square and gradient of divergence of h minus laplacian operator h is equal to minus mu sigma del h over del t minus mu epsilon del square h over del t square here we also have del t square and now we call these equations equation number five equation number five let us call this equation equation number four a and this is called equation number four b now we use maxwell's equation 3 part 1 and 3 part 2. Now use Maxwell's equation 3 part 1 and 3 part 2. So we write divergence of E is equal to 0 and divergence of h is also equal to 0 so we use these two conditions in equation 5 so what will happen divergence of e this term and divergence of h this term will become 0 so we write simply laplacian operator e minus mu sigma del e over del t minus mu epsilon del square e over del t square equal to zero and laplacian operator h minus mu sigma del h over del t minus mu epsilon del square h over del t square equal to zero let us call this is equation number 6a and this is equation 6b now equation 6a and 6b are the wave equations for the electromagnetic field vectors e and h in conducting medium
equation 6a and equation 6b are the wave equations for the electromagnetic field vectors field vectors e and h respectively in conducting medium viewers aaj ke video mein itna hi उम्मीद करता हूँ कि वीडियो आपके लिए हेल्पफुल रहेगा थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज वीडियो को लाइक कीजिए शेयर कीजिए और मेरे चैनल लर्न फिजिक्स को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए थैंक यू